guys, Dave the Anastasian here. Uh, my shot timer finally came in, so I'm just going to do a quick video on uh, the controls and how to use it. So, first off, this is the Pact 3 um, shot timer. I got this on sale. It was about $120 or so. Uh, I think retail on them or, or not on sale, they're about $160 or so. So I did pretty good on this. Um, first thing I'll say, uh, it come, or it's pretty light. It's got a belt clip already on it, and it's uh, pretty easy to uh, use the controls. Now, <clears throat> if you don't know much about shot timers, essentially they will give you a starting point. Uh, it will give you a buzzer, you know, to to start, and then you can set a time, uh, you know, if based on competition or uh, practicing reloads or, or sh first shots out and stuff. It will tell you. Uh, or you can set a, an allotted amount of time that you want to hit. And that's called your part time on here. So basically, um, you can set, if you hit these two buttons down here, the up or down, hit them at the same time, you'll see uh, delay is on top and instant is on the bottom. So if you want to hit you know, your, your instant, say you're practicing for, uh, or you're scoring somebody or whatever, or you're a range officer during competition, as soon as you hit that go button, uh, the time will start, but for you know everybody else out there that's practicing by themselves, um, you'll want to do delay. So we'll hit the top button up here, and it will say set delay there, and par is over there. So you'll hit the review button again, and then you can set your um, desired time or what you want to achieve. So it'll be a randomized anywhere from like one to five seconds. Um, when that first buzzer hits and then you know it will pick up all the shots and then it'll stop reading after the uh, second buzzer goes so we'll say we'll set this down to uh, one and a half seconds so you'll see sorry about that you'll see the tenth uh, or the, the uh, hundredth of a second uh, we are gonna leave that at zero we're gonna hit review Again, that will move up to the tenths place, so we'll set this at five. Hit that review button again. Now this is the one second mark. We'll move this down to one and a half. Press review. You can go to ten seconds if you wanted to. We're still going to leave this at 1.5. And then when you see this kind of random bouncing around uh, on that screen there, that means it's ready to go. So I've got a randomized delay on there. And then um, I'm shooting for so there's gonna be a buzzer at one or at you know whenever it goes, and then again at one and a half seconds later. So <clears throat> to start it, you will hit the go button. So listen here. All right. So that first beep was your random start time, and then that second beep was one and a half seconds later. I will say. Uh, if you're practicing with dry fires or at home or whatever, um, I would use ears if you're you're using this inside. Um, you know, it's designed to make sure you can hear it if you have ears on. So without ears at home, um, it is actually rather loud. So um, you know, just keep that in mind. So we'll try this again. We'll just do a couple of quick drills, um, and it's perfect for something like this where you're just at home. You know, there's no ammo available, and uh, you know, there's or you just got a couple minutes and you want to practice at home. So we'll try this again. We'll draw from concealment. And we're not going to start with our hands up. Uh, I'm starting to kind of get more into um, more realistic scenarios and, and increasing or changing up my training and stuff. I've gotten a pretty good or gotten pretty good at going with hands up down to my garment. Uh, and that's just something from competition. You know, you start with your hands up or your hands on your head or, or whatever different starting positions are. So we're going to start, you know, like with my arms relaxed down at my sides. All right. So you kind of got to, um, uh, I, I guess, pretend a little bit or, or keep in mind that, you know, you have to wait until you've got a really good sight picture and you're pulling that trigger um, before you can, you know, recognize your first shot out, you know, was a, a decent one or not. Solely for the fact that this doesn't, you know, you're not going to see your hits and you're not going to get any actual split times 
from this just due to the fact that it doesn't pick up um, you know, dry fire stuff. It has to be very loud um, and actually reads the concussive force that's, um, you know, that you hear uh, after you, you fire around. So it's not actually going to pick up your split times, but, you know, for something simple like, you know, training your first round out, uh, it, it's perfectly adequate in my mind. So again. All right. And this really... You can practice all day long at the range, going really slow. You can ramp up your, um, you can, you know, kind of ramp up your speed. But this gives you, you know, like a, a true bar to measure yourself by. So <clears throat> it's an awesome little, uh, you know, piece of equipment. I think if you guys are interested or, or want to really step up your your training and your shooting, um, it's definitely worth the investment. There's a couple really good ones out there. Like I said, this one just happened to be on sale. So if you thought this video was helpful, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you very much. We'll see you next time.